I shot this footage at a Christmas concert and several of the ladies are wearing green and red which are kind of Christmassy. Uh, two of them are wearing uh, blue and purple. Don't really match the rest of the gals. So I'm going to apply the Matrox secondary color correction. Go to the selective key. I'm going to choose the blue from her jacket and then look at the uh, show key. Now I got most of that but I also want to get the purple jacket and you'll notice that blue and purple are next to one another on the color wheel. So that allows me to uh, expand my range and be able to get both of them. Another way of doing this, let me hit undo and back up a few steps. Another way would be to take that eyedropper and hit the plus eyedropper. That allows me to add additional colors to my selection. There's also a minus eyedropper to take away colors. I'll do the plus eyedropper and go click on that purple jacket. And now you can see I've grabbed uh, both jackets. Got a pretty good looking key there as far as uh, getting those jackets keyed in. Let's turn off show key and now I can go to the hue control and change the color of those jackets bring those around to where they look uh, green matching the other ladies. Now you might have noticed that there's a garland wrapped around the mic stand in the center of the picture so I've uh, inadvertently changed the color of that garland. It used to be purple. Well we can fix that easy enough. Let's go down to the uh, select mask and I'll just draw a box around the two ladies I want to uh, change the color of their jackets and then the uh, you'll see the, the mic stand is outside of that range. I can then hit OK and let's click on show key to demonstrate better. You can see that only the areas of purple and blue within that box are going to be affected by my changes. The mic stand is outside of that box that will remain unchanged. So looks perfect on my HD display. Worked out really well and that's starting with an HDV clip.